Hello everybody. Grab your morning tea. Okay, so 4.5. Well, this involves a triangle. A triangle disputed load. So we need to look at triangles first before we try to tackle this problem. Things we're going to need to know. There's 4.5. I'll call it preamble is when I've got a triangle where is the centroid? I happen to know it's a third away from the base probably done at school so take your lines to the midpoint so where they cross we need something a bit more technical than that so if we define x equals 0 here and then x equals L the um, defining this as a weight so little w zero at this point here, but our w varies from zero up to little w zero to that point there. So let's write a function for that. That's straightforward. Just increases by x. So little w equals w zero x divided by l. So you can see when <coughs> x equals zero, we're going to get little little w equals zero. When x equals l, I'm going to get little w equals w zero. So that's that section there. So now how are we going to find the centroid? Well, we can use the principle that we're going to find the centroid for a mass. Yeah, so we're going to find uh, where this point is located. So to do that, you are looking for the mean location for a uh, mass or a weight, so you integrate the weight as, as a weighted function. So that's your weighted function there. Multiply it by your x, that's what you're looking for. And then below, you're going to integrate again, but this time just the weight. On the bottom there. Okay, so integrate the uh, integrate this term here. We can see that we're going to end up with W O's W O's cancelling, L's cancelling, L's cancelling, and it just ends up as x squared. And on the bottom, I need to integrate x. So that's straightforward. So that's going to give me x to the power three. divided by x squared a half. Divide something by half, same as times in it by 2, so that gives me 2 over 3 x. So as I was expecting, the centroid is going to be 2 thirds, or actually my limits are 0 to L, is x equals 2 thirds L. limits in here, 0 to L. So that's the to deal with the centroid. The other thing that I'm going to obviously want to do in uh, these kind of calculations is look for what the weight is when I cut through the function at a certain point. So I'm going to cut through the, f the function at this location x. And I need to say to myself, how much weight do I have left of uh, x. Well to do that we want to be integrating the weight so we call this big W um, it's the weight left of x so I call it big W subscript x is the integral of my function Simply that, and it's obviously going to have limits of 0 to x. So that's a constant, that's a constant. We've got little w o. Integrate the x, becomes x squared for 2l. Right, so that gives me a function at uh, how much weight we've got left of us. 
notice that when we put in x equals l we end up with w o l divided by 2 so it's the area of half a triangle a base times height half a base sorry times height so uh, these two results I'm going to use okay, I'll stop there